Hello everybody! In this video you will learn how to find all 12 fauna of North America cigarette cards needed to complete the smoking and other hobbies side quest. Sure, you can get them from the premium pack you can buy from the general store as well, but this way is boring and you will spend more that you will earn at the end of the day. So, sit down and check the locations where you can get these cards. Back to the topic, before you will be able to utilize these cards for the quest you need to complete the first quest in chapter 2 near the Fatnik station, called Who is not without sin. Once done, you can get back to the Fatnik station where you will find a stranger that will tell you that he will pay you well for each set of cards you will send him. You may think that how much you can earn from this quest. Only for the fauna of North America sets that you will collect following this video you will gain $50 in cash and a perfect rabbit pelt. The last one can be donated to your camp if you want to double the valuable items you can carry. By asking Pearson to craft the respective satchel if you already bought for him the tools. And to do so you will need other perfect pelts. But this is another story about which you can find some other guides in the hunting playlist linked in the description. For an extra reward for the quest, if this will be the first set you send, you will also receive a pair of vintage Civil War handcuffs. That is one of the free ingredients of the powerful Alligator Tooth Talisman that you can craft by hunting the legendary alligator, about which you can find as well another video linked in the description. At this point, if you are satisfied with the rewards you can get, it's time to find out all the locations you can find the cigarette cards. For the first fauna cigarette card location, you have to reach northwest from Strawberry City. To be precise, in the small building beside the W letter of the west text in the map where you will find a small hunter house. But be aware, when you enter inside, you will find here a friendly bear that will hug you as soon as you open the door. So get ready to use the break free interaction to show to this lovely bear that you don't want his love. Even if you use the knife to kill the bear, usually it won't have even a good pelt, but it's worth trying, who knows, if he will be a free star in your case. Now that you deal with the problem, it's time to search the house. To be precise, you have to search the office table, on top of which you will find the first cigarette card you came for. On the other side of the writing machine you will find a pipe you need to collect for the item request Dutch will give you later on in the camp. While inside the drawers you will find some letters on the right side, while on the left there are some supplies and a premium cigarette pack that if you will collect, you will get an extra random cigarette card. In case you can't collect it, just open your inventory and throw away all cigarettes you already own. Oh, also, don't forget to get the 11th Flora cigarette card on the railing in front of the entrance of this house. For the second fauna cigarette card, you have to get to the from Rod City. To be precise, in the small building upside the letter B of Bulger Blight text on the right from the letter O of Meadows text in the map. For the cigarette card you have to interact with the summary of this house wreck. Next, the third fauna cigarette card is located between Emerald Ranch and One Horn City. To be precise, below the letter V of Hanover text in the map, where you will find a watch platform on the tree and a small hunter house nearby. If you get upside this platform using the ladder, you will find the third and the tenth fauna cigarette card leaning on a box. Time for the fourth fauna cigarette card, that is inside the San Denis city. To be precise, on the pure west from San Denis text in the map. Going at the end of the central platform, you can find it upside a barrel that holds some tools on top of it as well. The next fauna cigarette card is likely to the north from San Denis city. To be precise, in the bottom house of the map, near Likai text in the map. Here you will find a small city. You have to enter the bigger building, where you will find the item you came from on the left, respect to the mine entrance, on top of the table covered with the red cloth, while in the rest of the house you will find one jewelry and few supplies. At this point, let's go to the sixth location to explore, that is northwest from San Denis City. 
to be precise, in the Lagrasse fishing village, where you will find a large vessel parked in the middle of it. Get inside, climb the ladder and jump on the frontal part of the ship. Then search the item you came for outside one of the barrels stored here. For the seventh cigarette card you need to find a small building on the west side of the Lemoine state border located between Valentine and Rhodes cities. The building you're looking for is a fisherman house. Get inside from the back door that faces the shore. Here, on the right respect to the scenery, you can collect an aged pirate room that, if drinked, permanently raises your stamina by one quarter of your actual level. But if it isn't enough for you, because you feel that you need the maximum statistic, you can check the video about this topic linked in the description. Back to the exploration, from the side of the house where you are now, you can see below the coach the real item you came for. In the rest of the house, if you want to collect everything, you can find a little cash and some supplies. Time for the 8 cigarette cards that can be found north from St. Denis and southwest from Van Horse cities. To be precise, in the fort upside the Kamasa River text in the map. Here you will find an abandoned fort that can be accessed from the broken watchtower's wall, that seems to be destroyed in some kind of past attack to the fort. Now, here you need to enter the small house on the right. The item you came for is upside the table in the middle of this room. Also, if you want some extra loot, use the stairs in the top right corner of the building that will lead you inside the cellar. Here you will find another aged pirate room, some ammunition, a gold nugget, one unique outfit and a weapon. For the gold nugget you can sell it to any fence vendor for $25. So if you still didn't know where to find this kind of vendor, check the video about this topic linked in the description. The ninth cigarette card leads you back to the Lemoine territory, but this time northeast from Rhodes and northwest from St. Denis. To be precise, on the top side shores of the Kamasa River near the letter Y of Lemoine text in the map where you will find an abandoned small city. The item you came for is on the central pier platform upside some boxes. Now look back and go inside the house on the right, where you will find an extra loot. Below the initial part of the floor, near the entrance, you will find a hidden lock box containing $20 in cash and some supplies. This is all you can get from here, so let's move to the 11th found secret card location. We skip it the tenth because we already collected it previously in the first location. Anyway, for the eleventh, it's northeast from Valentine City. To be precise, in the building below the letter O and R letters of forest text in the map, where you will find a small farm. Now you need to get inside the central house. Here you can find a good amount of supplies you can pick up, while the item you came for is in the bedroom. To be precise, below the grey shelf and upside some wooden boxes. Here we go, it's time for the last found cigarette card, that is inside the Warhorn city. To be precise, in the bottom house on the right side of the road, that is a destroyed old sheriff office, on one side of which you will find a broken wall that you can use to enter inside. The item you came for is on top of the summary near the throwing knife. Now that you collected them all, they will be converted in a unique item that you now can send using any post office. Then you need to do something else or sleep using your camp or a saloon room for 24 hours. After this time, you will receive a message that you have a new incoming mail to collect. At this point, go back to the post office and collect your rewards. 